Hey guys, it's what not waste not man. I've got a nice little motor home. You've probably seen it in one of my pictures. Um, we just did a motor swap out, but we've got to do a uh, sorry, got to do a rear end swap out on it. So here's our donor vehicle right here at 13,000 miles on it. So we have a 400 engine with 13,000 miles on it going in here. I've got the battery on a little one of them little chargers, and now it's all done up. This is the one we're going to be cutting it all the way down right here and making it into a truck bed. The roof is still intact inside this motor home and it's an old 1973 Dodge. Right now, me and Daniel are out here because we're taking an original Harbor Freight trailer bit, uh, the front end of it, and we're going to be cutting it right here to lash it onto this frame so that we can tow this old thing away. The steering box, all the goodies have been removed out of this old thing. Um, shockingly, the guys that had this, just the whole family fought over it all these years and it just rotted. So the engine was perfect. The internals of the everything, the transmission perfect. So we're pulling this and it was a propane optioned engine. So which is really cool. What I really want because this thing here originally was propane optioned, but it had a uh, 5.9 Magnum engine in it. And the Magnum engine has been removed and traded for the setup we're doing now because it's difficult to set that one up for what we have and it's already got the big propane tanks in it this does so we're going to be able to run on on 88 gallons of propane 244 gallon tanks with this thing getting about 11 miles to the gallon and maybe better once it's been chopped so stay tuned to that right now we're going to go ahead and chop this and hook it up and you're going to see how this little front end of an old harbor freight gets to tow this crippled thing out to the scrap yard which is the lineup out there again using my big setup in my rig there with that big potec old school the new ones are better but uh inverter and my big battery bank we're going to get this ran down and cutting the uh trailer frame here using this bower this is a really seriously improved version of the uh, Harbor Freight. I mean, it's 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 kind of like a Makita or, or a, a Milwaukee kind of, or rigid. So cutting this frame, so we'll go ahead and get her chopped. I'm gonna chop her real close to where we can use the flat bar against it. Turn up the speed here. This thing, this thing runs pretty good on that uh, Hotec inverter. So we got that cut. And now we'll go over here on this other side and get it cut. And I'm going to have to get this one here laid down. All right, so we'll get that back on the other side. And we're going to show you how this thing gets hooked up over here. How we're going to use the flat plate of this against the body of the van to make a temporary yard tow out of it. You gotta admit, having 3,000 watts in your van is kind of damn handy. Or 3,000 watts in your truck, or in your car, or in your 18 wheeler. And the cool thing is, is the solar panels on the roof of this, every time I'm not using it, start immediately putting back the wattage that I burned out. So that means that even if I have to use my alternator, the batteries up to full power it's not stressing out my vehicle's alternator so now taking this we're just going to bring it up and flushly mount the surface of here against this and use straps to strap it off so let me get that on there and you'll see what we got it'll allow it to pivot and hook to the tail of my truck from the original harbor freight hitch and we'll get this old hulk out of here all right guys here we go hooked up to the truck harbor freight to the rescue again so this little old 1974 or 6 whatever it's getting hauled out of here there's no steering column hardly any steering parts but drag link still together on it so we're going to tow it to the other side of the field up in the lineup about 500 feet away around a bunch of turns and harbor freight let's see how it works out all right, 
I'll get it out there in the open and we'll take a look and see if it's working or if it ran into stuff. All right, it looks like so far so good. It's wanting to follow. Let's see how good it does. <laughs> Not too bad for a Harbor Freight save, huh? Well, let's get her out to the field, guys. Looking good. Looking like we're working it easy. Okay, so. How did our tow work out? Not bad. Over here in the scrap yard with the scrap dogs. <laughs> here it is, guys. Harbor Freight saves the day, and it worked. Wasn't an easy tow when you think about it. No way of steering it. And just letting the drag link, everything just hang there. But, hey. Worked out good, now it's time for the backhoe with the claw to come shred the rest of these because this heap is about to go on market. All right, guys, y'all be good. Harbor Freight, hell, they're a great place to buy stuff and reuse.